Hello, hello everyone. Okay, so I have to tell you that I am super duper excited about how much I was able to get done in my How to Kill a Kit project with style project. Um, in fact, I'm going to do a flip through and show you all the layouts I got finished. I didn't get to complete the entire album, but that's okay. I got really, really far in completing the album. That makes me happy. And then I think I'm going to do this for next month too. So I pulled out another album and um, we're going to see if we can get some of those pages done too. So, uh, these are the pages I did. Some of these have videos and I'll mention the videos if some of them have videos. And apparently I'm like dropping stuff all over my desk. Because, you know, that happens. So, I completed this layout using uh, my Click Kit from December. There's not a video for this. There is a video for this one. So, I completed this one. So, if you're counting, that's two. These were already done. This is a third layout that I did. Um, and there's a video for this one. And I love this technique with the sequins. In fact, I can almost promise you that you're going to see this again. Because I just loved doing this. And it turned out so pretty. Um, let's see. I did this one. And there's a video for that. So now I lost count. One, two, three, four. This is going to be five and six. So there is a video for this layout. There is not a video for this one. I worked on some of these pages during the Secret Not Secret Kit Club scrap party. Um, so that was this past weekend. So I did this one and this one. So this is five and six. Seven. Yeah. This is seven. That's Christina's Kit Club, the girl that sends you cookies. <laughs> this is seven. This was for the Crafty Maven, and there is a video for this. Eight. This is another one. There's no video for this. I completed it during um, the scrap party this weekend, but I love it. So this is eight. And then I think that's it. So eight layouts complete in this project. Still a bit a ways to go, so I'm going to keep it handy and off to the side, and I'm going to try to finish it up. Um, but I wanted to go ahead and pick a different project for this month and I wanted to pick one of my 12 by 12 albums that only needs a couple pages finished up in it. So that's what I did. So chron I store my albums, I store my pages chronologically. So chronologically, this is the oldest album I have on my shelf that just has a couple of pages that needs filled in. So this album is from 2016 so you see chronologically speaking I'm just as far behind as everybody else and so for 2016 I have all different size page protectors pocket pages and you can see like I've kind of been working on this a little bit because this is all done with whimsical and this is a pocket page and so I'm just going to flip through here and see what I have. So this album for this year, 2016, I had this set up so that at the start of every month there is a pocket page. And then there's also some pocket pages in different sizes kind of mixed in. So I have two pages here that need finished. And then I have two pages here. Okay, so this, for example, the pictures are here. They're ready to go, right? This is going to be a big multi-photo layout. It's actually going to be two. So, and I'm sure that I will probably definitely do at least one process video with this one. This was my, um, if you watch my videos quite often, you know my niece Jada. She was born in September and this was her baby shower. And then these are pictures of her in the NICU, which I don't know that I'll do or not. She was premature. I don't know if I'll, I'll definitely scrapbook them, but I don't know if I'm going to put them put them in a process video or not. I may just not. Um, but I'll do the baby shower for sure. And then I think that that might be the only things that are in this album. So four, oh, nope, here's two more. Okay, so five. Yep. 
so there are five pages that need finished and then this album is done so my plan for February is to get these five pages done and as I was flipping through I can tell you that two of these will be process videos possibly three but definitely two um, and then once I kind of fill this in, I'm going to go back to that eight and a half by 11 book and see if I can get more of my son's pictures done. But I wanted to choose a project that has some 12 by 12 and some multi-photo layouts and um, as well as kind of finishing up. I'd like to get 2016 finished up. So that's the plan for February. I know a lot of the other girls said after I chose the project instead of a uh, kit last year or last month, they said they were going to try that too. So that might be a fun little um, thing to do. I think in March I'll go ahead and go back to a kit maybe, but I feel like I get so much more done when I pick a project instead of a kit. And so um, it also helps with the fact that I get bored very easily. So having a project that I can pull different parts of my stash in uh, works a little bit better for me. So definitely two process videos coming up in February. Um, and they look like they'll both be nice like multi-photo 12 by 12 scrapbook processes. So keep that in mind. And um, once I get that, those those uh, projects done then we'll move on to maybe I'll pull um, I'll just keep working on my son's eight and a half by 11 album so that's the plan for February be sure to check out all the links below we have a bunch of new girls joining us for 2019 in the how to kill a kit with style series there is so many girls and so much inspiration and you don't want to miss any of it so have a wonderful wonderful day I'll see you all again soon bye